Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. This is just a note, and a further note about uh, antisocial personalities and um, sociopaths. In my youth, I read books and theories about what it would be like for a child to, to be um, in its very young infancy in the company of animals rather than people. Uh, the notion was called the feral child. The feral child, what would it be like? And there were romantic books that had been written about that, romanticizing the notion like the idea of Tarzan, of the apes, and how he came to, under, to become more adept at English manners and so forth. But these books, these books are very, um, very off the target. In fact, there are quite a huge number of feral children who, who are either small or have grown up <clears throat> in the world today. For instance, I read today online in a 2016 blog that the American Psychiatric Association feels there are about a 4% rate of antisocial personality disorder in the United States right now, or last year. And then there was another study uh, by the National Institute of Mental Health in 1991 that um, stated that since 15 years prior to that, so that would be the mid-1970s, uh, the prevalence of this antisocial personalities in the young people of America had doubled. So, um, so we're talking about a significant segment of the United States population, and no doubt of the world population. You and I were likely to run into one in the supermarket, I guess. And uh, what these children are, uh, are human beings in form who have n never learned the ways of civilization, of civilized man. Instead, the guiding lights for their lives are the feral drives. So, and so what they see in other people is also these feral drives. And so they, they use their understanding of the feral drives, which are buried in most people under a veneer of civilized behavior and adherence to societal expectations. They use other people's feral drives to manipulate them. And if possible, they form packs, wild packs, like wolf packs in which they are the leaders, as did Charles Manson, for instance. And the gentleman in the Midwest who, who was, uh, who, who was arrested and um, detained and brought to justice. And let me see, there are, there are many other instances like that of, of people who, who keep a minimum contact with people in everyday life, <clears throat> especially during the daytime, um, because the veneer of civilization that they carry as a mask is just 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 very thin and so they're likely to come out at night or to stay as a recluse and their and and their their behavior when when unfettered by other people's expectations is completely feral they as far as i know at this point unless there's a dna change they can't be um they can't be socialized not yet. So, um, so the truth of the feral child is not romantic at all. Uh, it's the sociopath, the antisocial personality. Lots of times it plays out as, you know, drug dealing and prostitution, uh, risk-taking behaviors. I read about this in, in Wikipedia. And also uh, serial killing and m mass murders may be related, but serial killing definitely. And uh, then there's uh, nympho nymphomania, it's called, and then that Don Juan complex where, 
where the the feral drive to sexuality is is very pronounced because there's no there's no naysaying there's no hold off until the appropriate time there's and and so so there's this constant like desire for for sexual intercourse i think the things to look out for are manipulation of one's own feral drives by someone else in other words we have to be aware of our feral drives and and what they're doing and what they're saying you know and and somehow train them and and ex and also accept them and and but train them into a more productive way of doing things we can also sublimate them so that we can pursue higher consciousness and so forth so 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 those are our our ways of escaping what may be a very large sociopathic um, subset of people in the world today. The psychological, psychiatric community has been slowly shifting its, its terminology from sociopath to, um, to antisocial personality. Now, by antisocial personality is not meant shyness. This I get from my voluminous reading, <laughs> and it's not meant shyness. It's although um, the behavior of an antisocial personality can mimic that of the extremely shy person. This is because they're hiding out from people so that no one will find out that that they're they're feral. You see, they're they're hiding during the daytime or uh, or living in a place that's remote from people and their interaction with people take place when there are very few people around or when this situation is controlled, as I've mentioned before, through, through mind control. They're very adept at what we call mind control because they're very in touch with the feral drives. And the feral drives in our unconscious and subconscious minds, because we've been socialized, yeah, are beneath our notice, but right out there in front of them are, the, are our feral drives that they, they can manipulate through their um, telepathy. And I've never known, a, um, on the astral plane, I've never known a sociopath yet that isn't extremely adept at telepathy and mind control. So, so these are the things that we have to look out for. The people in our ascension community call these people controllers controllers but the truth of the matter is that they're just they're they they're they're lacking something okay and i believe it has something to do with genetics and a twist or torque in the etheric net and and it's my very great hope that there will be a solution to this to this difficulty so that they can like join the flow of the hue the humankind in in years to come so y'all keep a good eye out for that. And everyone be safe. And, and everyone who is a sociopath or a feral child or a feral grown-up, you be safe too. I think there'll be a path for you.